In this lecture, we are going to know about position command. Sometimes what happens when we import the file or mesh from multiple resources, it may happen that our mesh and file does not get a proper position. In that situation, we are going to use the position command. And also, let's say we are working on any assembly and in that assembly, only one of the part is updated. Then when we import that part in the assembly, it may be possible that it might not get to its original position. In that situation, we need to position the part in hyper mesh. So if you go to the tools here, you will see position command. So in this position, you can change the position of node, element, component, line, surface, solid, etc. So for this, we need three reference points from N1, N2, N3 to N1, N2, N3. Okay, so now to understand this, I will open up a file. In your position folder, open up the position one file. And here, uh, if you see, we have a control arm. So here, let's say we have the CAD of control arm here. And let's say some another engineer has created the mesh. And when we import the mesh, it might be possible that position of the mesh is not similar to this CAD geometry. So in this situation, we need to position this mesh with respect to this CAD. So in hyper mesh, we have two ways of changing the position of the part. One option is using this translate or shift plus F4, both are same. Here you need to go to this. So here we have element. So in the type of filter, we need to select element. So now we don't have any proper reference of axis. We are going to use the N1, N2, N3. That is vector using the nodes. Okay. So, but first of all, we need to create some references. And when we do the positioning, the best method is we need to position it with respect to the mounting locations because in the part mounting locations are always same. So here you can see these holes are the proper mounting locations. So first of all, I'm going to create a center of the hole. So return press F8 and go to this option of center. We have line here. So select the filter line, select this complete line and create. Similarly, here we have the nodes. So here select nodes here, select all the nodes like this, create. So you can see we have created the center. Now I can move this mesh from this, from this node reference up to this node reference, up to this node reference. Now to do this shift plus F4 in the element select displayed. Here I will select one more option. Click on this arrow. You will see N2 minus N1. So in the N1, I will select from this location. And for the N2, I will select this location. Click on translate plus. Now you can see this mesh has been translated from this position to this position. So click on return. Let's see whether the mesh is proper or not. Click on mixed. You can see all the meshes lying properly on the edges. So it means it is proper positioning. Okay. Now we have one more method. Let's say for this, I will open up the second file position two. click yes. Now in this position two, I'm going to use the similar method. So let's say I will create the center F8. Here is like the nodes at filter, select all the nodes here like this create now onto here i will go to line select this line create return now i am going to use the same method shift plus f4 element displayed select n1 to n2 click on translate but here you can see we find one problem the orientation of the mesh is not proper in this situation. So I will click on reject from here. So it means in this types of situation when the orientation is not proper, if I go to let's say view here, you can see ZX, you can see orientation is not proper. So in this situation, we cannot use the translate command. So click on this isometric view. In this situation, I'm going to use the 
position command so go to tools and go to position here we need to specify three references okay so the reference should be similar means this is the top center here similarly here it will be okay we need to we can give the reference with respect to this center so what do we do i will press f8 go to line i will create center here this center you can see this center also i can create you can see this center will match so what i do i will also create the center here go to node and then select this complete node path here so select the node and click on create similarly i want to create the node also here so select the nodes here one by one let's say i will select nodes like this okay not this one select this one and create now i will go to position command here go to position here go to element here go to displayed from so this will be first reference this will be second okay you can see we have selected the no wrong node so click on n2 click on right click here select this node as n2 and this node as n3 so we need to select the corresponding node in proper orientation so two here this will be n1 this will be n2 and this will be n3 click on position so now you can see we have position the part properly so in the similar way we can also position like surface solid part component etc so click on return